Hi, I'd love to know what activities do you do in your classroom to teach your students about the plant life cycle? Today, I'm going to share my three favorites. We're going to talk about the life cycle of a plant, specifically a flower. Hey, this lesson is particularly awesome if you are looking for a way to also have a Mother's Day gift. Now, I know that first grade teachers teach this, and when I was teaching third grade, we also taught this, but we went a little bit deeper with learning about the soil and photosynthesis and all of that. To keep this simple, we are specifically talking about the life cycle of a plant, how it produces another flowering plant. Yeah, I'm not talking about soil or dirt or conifers or anything like that. So one of the coolest activities that we did was with a lima bean. And we did talk about what a plant needs in order to grow. It needs dirt, sun, soil. Wait, no, it needs dirt, water, and sunlight. There's a really great way to do this without having to do the, the dirty stuff. And that is to use a Ziploc bag. You can do a snack bag, or we actually made necklaces and we took the jewelry size bags. They're about this big. I'm going to put the affiliate link in my description. So you know exactly which one I'm talking about. You take half a sheet of paper towel and get it damp with water. And then you place it inside the jewelry bag with the lima bean. Hole punch the jewelry bag and tie a string through it so students can carry it around for the rest of the day and wear it. It doesn't take long for your students to see the roots that start to form within this jewelry bag. Another really neat way to do that, I had a student teacher once who used old clear CD cases and she stuck dirt in them with the lima bean, sprinkled it with water and closed it, taped it shut so you could have your own little display in a CD case. That one was really creative. What about for teaching your students about what pollen is and how it's transferred? So another really fun activity that we did is we create insect models. FYI, I have two really great insect life cycle of insect videos before, one about ladybugs and the other about butterflies. You can go back and watch those videos where I share three more activities for each one. But after learning about the insects, we create a model of an insect using pipe cleaners for the beet and using sugar and cinnamon. You can model how the insect transfers the cinnamon to the sugar and vice versa just by moving it around. Of course, you don't tell them this and they can use straws, pipe cleaners, whatever to make the model of the insect, but they have to learn that eventually, oh, insects have fur on their legs and that's how they pick up the pollen and transfer it. I have this pollinator stem activity in my TPT shop, so make sure that you check it out because it is so fun. It is a mathematical stem challenge, which also has a lot of science in it, but it is a really unique way for students to experience math using a real world connection. Okay, so the other thing that we do every year is create Mother's Day flowers. We start with a flowering seed. We place them in the little soil containers and we watch over time as these plants start to grow. Eventually, we take the little seed pods and put them into a cup, fill it with soil, tie a ribbon around it, and students send it home to give it to their moms. My favorite seed to use this with is a zinnia. I just find that these are really pretty and super easy to grow. If you'd like to learn more about how plants grow or you need more literature for that, I have a ton of plant reading passages and comprehension questions in my TPT shop. Along with that, there are graphic organizers that help students learn about how seeds travel and the differences between a conifer and a flowering plant. Also the different types of soil and nitrogen. Why is nitrogen so important to our plants? Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want more tips and tricks for teachers, hit that subscribe button. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.